Hello everyone, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shivastov. In the series of Programming of the Trees, in the earlier lectures, we have discussed about how to construct the expression trees for the given expression. In today's lecture, we will learn about uh, how to find the maximum path sum in the binary tree. There may be many paths possible in the binary tree in which the nodes are containing the integer information. We have to find out the maximum sum of any of the path which is possible from the root. Let's look at uh, the example to understand this. So suppose we have a binary tree like one is the root node, two is the left child of this and seven the right child of this. And towards the right of this, let's say there is a nine. On the right hand side, we have a eight, and then towards the left, we have five. And then towards the right, let's say we have 11. So in this kind of a binary tree, you can see that if you follow the path, this one, the sum of the elements on this path will be seven plus two plus one, that is 10. If you follow this path, then the sum of the elements on this path will be nine plus two, 11 plus one, 12. If you follow this path, the sum of the elements on this path will be 8 plus 5, 13 plus 1, 14. And if you follow this path, the sum of the elements will be 11 plus 8, 19 plus 1, 20. Now, if you see that, uh, uh, if you have to find out the maximum path length, then your answer should be 20. But how to find this? Let's draw this tree again. For finding this sum, you will certainly be starting from the root node because that will be the only thing that must have been given to you. Now, if you have to find out the maximum path length, so you will have to take a decision here that which among the left and the right is larger or which among the left or the right sum till now is larger. Then only you can make the decision which, which to select for the maximal path length. And you can make a decision in the base condition. And if the base condition is successful, then only you can move towards the top values. It means that you will start your process from here in the root node, but you will recursively call to find out the maximum path length till the left and maximum path length towards the right. So let's demark these two as left and the right. And then similarly, for finding out what is the maximum path length up to this node, you will have to move to left and find out what is the maximum path length till now and in the, in the maximum path length on the right. So once you reach to the leaf node, so there is only, there is only one node uh, here possible, which is the leaf node. And the sum of the leaf node or sum of the information till this node will be the information of this node, this node itself. It means this will be returning seven from here. And similarly, if I go towards the right, then the right part will also be returning the data value of the leaf node. So you have seven from the left and nine from the right. At this node, you can make a decision that the right node is giving us the more sum. So we should be accepting that. So the maximum path sum till this node will be equals to nine plus two, it means 11. So 11 is the path sum or the maximum path length up to this. Now we'll be passing this 11 to the root node because the root node is called for this function to find out the path length towards the left. Similarly, we will be finding out this path length or path sum up to a right node. And since right node is not a leaf node, so we will have to find out towards its left and then towards its right also. So on the left hand side, you can see that we have a, a leaf node. So the maximum path length, path sum up to this node will be five only. So we'll be returning five to this function. And similarly, this is a leaf node. So we'll be returning 11 from this. Out of five and 11, the maximum is 11. So we will be accepting this or we will be uh, 
we, we will be uh, using this 11 because this is the maximum one. So 11 plus 8, 19. So 19 is the maximum path sum up to this. We will be returning this to the root node. So a 19 is coming from here. 11 is coming from the left hand side. If we have to make the decision at the root node, I'll be making the decision of selecting this 19. So 19 plus 1, 20 is the maximum path sum up to the root node. Let's take another example to understand this. Let's say we have the root node containing the information 7, and then 6, and then 4, and then 2, and then 9, and then 3. And on this side, let's say we have one. And let's say we have two here also. So if I start with the root node, the root node cannot uh, give the answer unless it has the information coming from the left and the right. So left and the right also are not the leaf nodes. So we will have to move toward their left and right as well. So left and right. So if I select this one, this node is the leaf node. So we'll be returning four from this side because uh, if I have only one node in the tree, obviously that will be the maximum. Similarly, on the, from the right hand side, we have only one node. So we'll be returning two from this side. And if I have to make a decision at this node, so the left is larger than the right. So four we will be accepting and the maximum path sum up to this node will be six plus four. It means the information of the current node plus the maximum which is coming from the left and the right. So 10 is the answer up to this. And now I cannot make the decision at the root node unless we have the information from the right side. So this right node is also not the leaf node. So we will be finding from the left and we will be finding from the right also. Let's move to the left node. Left node is again not uh, the, the leaf node. So we'll be finding the information from its left and we'll be finding the information from its right. Now you can see that the left of the node containing information three is null. So we'll be returning a zero from it. So this may be a base condition also. And on the right side, we have two. Two is the leaf node. So we'll be returning two from here. Maximum of two and zero is two. So the uh, maximum path sum up to this node will be equals to the information of this node plus the maximum of the left and the right. So three plus two, five is the answer, which is coming for this node. And for the right of this node, this is a leaf node. So we'll be returning one from this side. So uh, we have uh, five and one maximum of five and one will be five so we will be selecting the left one as a maximum so nine plus five 14 is the maximum path uh, sum up to this node that will return to the root so you can see that uh, for the root node from the left we have we have 10 for the right we have 14 if i select the largest of these two that is 14 so 14 plus 7 that is equals to 21 is the answer of the maximum path sum up to the root node. Now let's uh, uh, write the algorithm for the same. Obviously, it is going to be a recursive one. So let's say uh, the fun name of the function is maximum path sum MPS, and the address of the root node is given to us. The base condition appears here that uh, if t is equals to null, we should be returning zero. We just have seen here in the case this case of the node number three where it's left was null we were returning zero so this is the base condition and if uh, the root node is not null it is possible that it is a leaf node so that will also be a base condition so a uh, node will be the leaf node if its left will be null and its right will be null so if left is null and right is null obviously we'll be returning the data value of that node because that will be the only node in the subtree. So t dot data. But if uh, that node is neither the leaf node or not the null node, in that case, I will have to pick the decision. So I will have to find out what is the maximum path sum up to the left node. So I will be calling the same function with the address of the left node. Let's take, let's say that this value is stored in L and then R will be storing the maximum path sum up to the right node. I'll, I'm calling the recursive function and whatever is the maximum of L and R, 
let's say we find that is m. So m is equals to maximum of left and right. And the maximum path sum up to that node would be equals to m plus the data of that p dot data is added with the maximum of left and right, and we will return this. So let's write this uh, in the code block. So this is the uh, function for finding out the maximum path length. Here you can see that uh, the address of the root node is t. If t is null, I'm returning zero. If t is not null, then they, that node may be the leaf node. So if that node is a leaf node, I'm returning the data of that node. Otherwise, I'm calling the maximum path length function with the left and storing whatever information that is returned by that function in L. And similarly, I'm finding out towards the maximum path length towards the right and storing that in R. Then I'm finding the maximum of L and R. So this is the conditional statement. L, if L is greater than R, then I'm selecting L, otherwise I'm selecting R. So whichever is the maximum among the L and R, I'm accepting that in the max variable. And I'm returning the max, max value plus the data of that node as the answer. So this function will be returning the integer type of value. Now let's test this uh, with uh, calling this function from the main. So you can see that I'm calling from the main. So uh, let's select any random tree. So for selection of the random tree, I can take the tree which I have taken here. And then only we can verify if my tree constructed is correct or not, or and my information that should be returned by the MPS function is correct now. So I'm selecting. Let's do it like this. So it is asking for the information of the root node. So obviously the information of the root node is seven. And yes, the root left of the uh, uh, seven exists. So one, the data value of the left node is six. The left of six exists and the data value of uh, left of six is four. The left of four does not exist. Right of four does not exist. The right of six exists, which is having the value two. The left of uh, two does not exist. Right of two does not exist. The right of seven exists and the data value of right of uh, six. The right of seven is nine. Left of nine exists, which is having the information three, left of three does not exist, right of three exists and the data value of that is two. Left of two does not exist, right of two does not exist. And the right of two, nine exists. The data value of the right of nine is one. Left of nine does not exist, right of nine does not exist. And here you can see that the maximal path sum is 21. Earlier to this, I have printed the pre-order in order and post-order traversal just to verify if my tree is constructed is correct or not. And the maximal path, path, path sum in this case is 21. So I hope you must have uh, I hope you must have understood this concept, which is a very simple concept of the recursion. In the next lecture, we will see that how to find out the diameter of the link, uh, diameter of uh, the given binary tree. Thank you so much for watching this video.